Hello guys and welcome back at the Mastercam CNC milling operations tutorial. Mastercam in this playlist we will show you the different type of operations of the Mastercam mill 3D. From the requested of the lot of person who are joined our channel and at the our viewer of this channel requested for the from last few times that please kindly make videos on the Mastercam mill 3D. So from the today we are going to start Mastercam mill 3D tutorial and tool paths for the different work pieces for the 3D work pieces. In this Mastercam tutorial video series you will got knowledge about the different type of operations for the Mastercam mill 3D. In this playlist we will show you make more than 10 work pieces of Mastercam mill 3D tool path for the example of different operations. So in this video, we will show you that how to create a part of for that one, the component which we show you on the screen. So you, if you want to download that one model, you can download also. And in the next one video, we will show you for the toolpath manufacturing of the that one component by one roughing operations and two finishing operations. So in this video, we will show you that how to create and how you can create that one type of component in the master cam. If you want to download that one component you can download and let me show you the drawing for this one component. This is the drawing for this one component and the drawing is easy and simple you can download this drawing from the description. Video link the drawing link is available at the description. So now first I will explain about the drawing of that one component. There is a simple and easy drawing the largest size of the drawing is 127mm into 177mm. There is a pocket of the deep, this, the deep is the 9.5mm and the deep have an angle which is the 10 degree. Then there is a second one deep which the total depth of the deep is going to be 19mm that is shown at that one here. And the total deep as well as the angle for the deep is going to be 40 degree. And there is a small part or a small area for that one area which have the radius value and as well as the angle for this one. So let me create that one component by easy and simple steps. So for creating that one part, let me open a new page for the master cam. So for create that one part, first I have to choose wireframe and go a rectangle tab and I press at the center and click at the outer side. First, I have to input the value 127mm into 127mm, the external size for that one component. So let me create the next one area. So again, I am going for the rectangle. And I create a rectangle size as per the drawing. Drawing is a very easy and simple. You can understand the drawing by the easily reading this one. So next one area is 101.5 and again 101.5. The length is also 101.5 and the width is also 101.5. Then the next one is that the one small area which is size is 63.5. Create a rectangle. The size is 63.5 and again 63.5. So there are the specifically three rectangular part in this component. The one is the outer area which is 127 into 127. The next one is the profile which deep is 9.5 and the angle is 10 degree which is 101.5 into 101.5. And the last one is 63.5 size of a pocket which have an angle of the 40 degree and there is also have a radius. So for that one part, we will create the radius for this one area and the radius for firstly the outer area for this one area, the radius is 25 mm. So I go for the flip chain, click and then input the value of the radius 25.0. Then again, I have to select that one line and this for the radius of internal pocket area is 12.7 mm. Again, I input the value of this one radius. So now I have to create the area for that one, the center area. So for creating the center area, I am going for the circle. 
from the center this one circle is the and the value of that one circle is first 25 mm and there is another one red circle which diameter is 13 mm so there are two circles as per the model as per the drawing so now i have to go in the transform and make each and every entity at the z axis as per the drawing size so first i select the translate and i have to translate that one for i have for the selection i have to press shift and click make end selection and we i have to go for this one the depth and the depth for this one component is i have to choose 9.5 mm because that pocket is starting from the 9.5 mm of the deep i select minus 9.5 mm so this it, the entity is going in the deep and i select for this one for the move so this entity is moved from this area to the bottom area the similarly the circle size and the small arc size is i have to move the bottom area the first top one part which is the depth is just 6 mm so i select that one entity and input the value minus 6.0 so this one component entity is going the depth is minus 6 mm and again second one entity which depth is the 13 mm so select entity and i input the value of minus 13.0 mm so firstly i make the all entities as per the size of the drawing be careful read drawing easily be seriously drawing easily read and make practice as the practice you can easily drawing and so now i have to make that one part into the 3d component so for create a 3d component i have to go for the solid and first select i extrude firstly i have to select the external chain of the component and i select that one external chain and go for the deep the total deep of that one component is the as per drawing 25 mm so i press 25 mm and then okay then i have to make extract that one area the pocket which is the i have to that one extract as per the drawing let me show you once drawing i make that one pocket and the angle of that one pocket is the 10 degree so i select this one chain and go the deep for the deep or if we want to make cut from that one area we select cut from that here and we will input the depth of that one so depth is as per drawing 9.5 mm now we make the angle so we go for the advance click on the draft and input the value of the angle and the angle is 10 degree so as you can see the cutting area is going in the draft portion and then we press okay then for the next one entity we select this chain and press okay again the total depth of that one component is 9.5 mm from this one to this one we will make already bottom point area and the here to here for selecting this one we will click 19.0 minus 9.5 which is we make extract in the transform tab then the depth is automatically takes in advance we will go for the angle as per the drawing and angle for this one pocket is 40 degree so we will make the angle for that pocket so now we have to go for that creating of that one area for creating this one we go for the first we make this one so we select and okay now when we make a cut body so that one is cut body but now we have to go for the add boss and go for the advance and the angle for this one component is 10 degree now as per the drawing this is going the internal area of the cutting portion so now we have to click on the reverse portion when we click click on the reverse tab the component is automatically created a reverse size drafting and as per drawing that is shown then we click on okay let me check once the size of that one circle for the creating or checking the size for this one circle we will press analyze entity property and okay okay the size is 25 mm as per the size 
So okay, next one, the portion with which we want to create, that is this one area. For creating that one, we again go solid and extrude, select gen, okay. So again, we have to create the same type portion, same type component. And if we want to the distance, we can also select distance from this one area and okay. So we can now create easily the component as per the size. Now we make the flits as per the requirement and as per the size. For the creating of the flits, firstly we will check from the drawing. So let me show you the flit area. So the flit areas are here R3 and again here R3. And for that one component area, here is the flit portion. The radius is R2 and again here R2. So first I have to make flat on this one. So for this create a flat at that one, we go for the solid and flat. Then we select that one area. So we press shift and select chain. Okay. The radius of that one is 3.0. Okay. We press OK and again we make a radius R3 and OK. Let me check, click on the fillet, click here and OK. And the radius up as per the drawing, 2 mm. Again, I want to select another, another entity. I can select or add entity at the here. Add entity, add entity, and add entity. OK. So as you can see that when the component is created as per the drawing, as per the model, you can also download that one mastercam file from the link is available for the description and the, in this next video we will show you that how you can make tool path for that one component so this one for manufacturing of that one component we will show the three type of different type of tool paths in a mastercam mill 3d one is the roughing and two other are finishing purpose so be connected and updated for the more videos of the mastercam thank you